We are in a cloud. You can't even see anything. It's so scary. It's the water over there. You can't even see it. A phenomenon? Like you, you don't get to experience this. No, we're we're pretty high up, and it's like, like that's what it actually looks like. That's not just like the, the camera being. That's not the camera being like not focused. Anyways, good morning. Um, slept in a little bit today. Uh, it's like 11, I think, right now. Um, the contact tracing called Powell again this morning, and it was really weird because they just like asked the same questions that they asked yesterday. Um, I didn't get the follow up text yet so we'll see how that goes um Powell had a really rough night last night he had a like 100 fever again and the chills the chills were unbearable last night yeah it was probably the most uncomfortable I've been actually now the headaches were worse but the chills were just uncomfortable and uh, I don't know you just can't like function with the chills it was weird because it was running down my back every like yeah and there's nothing you every, like every five to ten seconds oh my god i would get like a round of chills and it was just so uncomfortable yeah and it's like you can if you have a fever or like a stuffy nose like you can kind of treat it but like if you have the chills like there's nothing you can do really other than like keep yourself warm but then you have a fever so it's like yeah i think we're gonna make crepes for breakfast how do you feel about that i would love some crepes we have the stuff to make them, so we figure why not make some crepes, you know? I'm gonna take a shower and make some breakfast. Babe, which one, can you smell both of these lavender essential oils and tell me which one smells stronger so that I can use it? They're both lavender. What? This one's stronger? Yeah. Okay, so the small one, okay. Right, so before I shower, I fill up my little essential oil thing and then I like close the door and steam the shower so that I can try to get my smell back. We are in the clouds. This is literally what it looks like outside of our bedroom. That's so crazy. What do you have to say about this? <laughs> do you like it? Just took a shower. I washed my hair yesterday, so I didn't wash it again. And I'm just Urban Outfitters that I got a while ago. It's super comfy. And some of these like black shiny leggings from Ella. These are really old. I've had them for a while. They're just comfy. Also, since we're quarantined and literally not allowed to leave our apartment, our laundry we usually do in the basement. And we're not allowed to do that right now until we're able to go outside. So we have stockpiled the largest pile of laundry that we have to do and it's giving me so much anxiety because it's so it's gonna be horrible like when we have the first thing we're gonna be able to do is go do laundry which is so annoying and all I want to do when I'm sick is put on like clean clothes because it's the only thing you have that's like making you feel better so I've been like trying to minimize the outfit changes that I do but this is our pile of laundry it looks like a dead body inside so I took off my jewelry, obviously, because I wasn't feeling good, and I just wanted it all off. Um, and I was looking at it the other day, and it definitely needed a cleaning, because I never, ever, 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 ever take my jewelry off. So I've just been letting it soak in some warm water and vinegar, and now I'm going to rinse it off and like rub off each piece. And then I think I might put some of it on. I don't think I'm going to put all of it on, because I wear a lot of jewelry like 24-7, but... Um, I just don't feel like myself when I don't wear anything, so I want to put some on. Okay, I don't want to do this <laughs> over the sink because I don't want it to fall, so I'm just going to pour out the water in this strainer. And there she is. Looks clean. The water was, like, definitely dirty. So now I'm going to rinse it, I think. Okay. Um, I'm going to put on a few necklaces because I just don't feel like myself without them. They look clean. They look a lot cleaner than they were. I'm gonna put this one on. I love this one. It's just like a diamond cut necklace. Look at her leg. She, she lays like a dead bug. Hi. 
What other ones do I normally wear? Right now I have on that one and then this little daisy one. Actually, should I? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna take I'm not gonna wear the M one because the M one is such a big charm that it um, tangles and it's like kind of uncomfortable. I'm gonna take this chain and I'm gonna put this daisy charm on the M one. I'm gonna take the charm off. I do this all the time. Like I have so many different charms and so many different chains and I just love switching them all out. I also make sure when I buy like new jewelry, I always make sure that I'm getting one that like is a different length than the ones that I have. Cause if I want to wear them together, you obviously don't want them to be the same length. Cute. Okay. That's enough for today. Now I'm going to wear some bracelets. This one, I love this bracelet so much. This Powell got me for my birthday last year. One of my favorites. It's the same as the necklace that I'm wearing. I'm gonna end up putting it all on, I know it. Okay, this one, this is like a mini jewelry haul. <laughs> this one is just a box chain. And I got this charm. I got it engraved with a little star on all of the sides. Okay, this one, fun fact. Um, this was actually my baby bracelet. It's an ID bracelet. And I got some extra chain and had it extended um, so that it would fit me. And it just has Mo on it, which is my nickname. We have a like tradition that, cause our birthdays are all pretty close together. My mom's is December 10th, mine is December 23rd, and then my sister's is Dece uh, January 22nd. And uh, we have a tradition that for all of our birthdays, we just pick one bracelet that we like and we buy three of them so that we all have like every year another matching bracelet. So overwhelming having birthdays during the holidays, you have to buy so many different presents and stuff. So this is nice that we just like, oh my God, it's so crazy outside. Um, it's nice that, you know, we already have like an idea of what we're gonna get. Okay, I'm not gonna share all of my bracelets because I think I'm gonna do like a whole jewelry haul of all of my jewelry. I think that'll be fun. Here's wrist number one, number two for now. And then these are the necklaces that I'm wearing. They're kind of hard to see. They're just like light, light, simple chains. And then this little daisy one, this is my favorite. Ever. We're making crepes for like brunch, lunch, breakfast, whatever. Um, so I'm not using a vegan recipe, I'm using a normal recipe and I'm just gonna sub vegan substitutions for it. I just feel like that's better. Um, so basically we just have to do one and a half cups of flour. So that's one. Four eggs. Three tablespoons of butter, one tablespoon of sugar, half teaspoon of salt, two cups of milk. Should we use oat milk or I'll use almond milk? Okay. Three tablespoons of butter, four eggs. Uh, so I need to Google the equivalent of just egg to egg. A single serving of just egg, three tablespoons is equivalent to one egg. All right, so we just put a few tablespoons of just egg in the mixture. We're gonna let it uh, sit for like 30 minutes and we're gonna make some sweet Nutella ones and then some savory ones with like cucumber, cheese, um, stuff like that. So we just have some vegan butter um, heating up on the pan. We're gonna, what is this, a third cup? Take a third cup and then just put it in the center. Just plop it in the center. We're officially crepe masters. <laughs> This is our first one. It was an epic fail, but we definitely did not put enough <laughs> vegan eggs. So we just added a little bit of applesauce. And this is our second one, and it's perfect. So for this one, I'm gonna put some of this dairy-free like Nutella. How do you do this? You put it on one side? Yeah. Strawberries? Sure. One this way and then the one the other way? 
Uh, just wrap it in a case of the air, but it's up to you. You could try it if you want. You go like this, and then like that. Some spackle on it. See, some spackle. Seal the deal a little bit. Ta da! <coughs> Gorgeous. There's one. This one we're melting some cheese on first. So, this is the savory one. And we have this cheese in the bottom. And I'm also going to add a little bit of this Kite Hill cream cheese. I don't think I've ever had the plain flavor before. I should have done this at the beginning. Let's That's do it okay. on the other side. Just a little bit. Way too much. Oh god, that's not gonna flip. I didn't even think of that. I'm gonna take some off. Number two. So I've been flipping them all this time. Let's see how Mariah flips. That's rude. He does all of his perfectly and then leaves me for the shit one. What? Oh, oh, oh my God, that was an epic fail, but I did it. What was that? I don't know, I got really nervous with the camera on. Oh. What? <laughs> what technique was that? I got so nervous. You were watching me and the camera's on and like you prefaced how bad I was gonna be and I was just like, I had no faith in myself and I was like, just wanted it to be over and, oh, it's really scary. I, I, I have <laughs> no words for that. <laughs> All right, here's our gorgeous little crepe breakfast. The savory one, I topped it with avocado and the Nutella strawberry. This is, so good, one of the best things we have made in a long time. Highly recommend. The savory one is so good. It's a little bit later on in the night. Today was so weird. We like we woke up at 11, which is earlier than we've been waking up for the past few days. And I don't know what happened. It was just like so gloomy and weird outside that the day flew by like we didn't even do anything today other than make those crepes so we had those by the time we ate them it was like 3 p.m already and then um we just like sat on the couch hung out watched some tv talked to some family on the phone and then now i think we're gonna make some dinner and maybe watch the movies and that's all we have planned for the night so both of us are starting to feel a little bit better, which is good. Thank you so much for watching today's video and tune in tomorrow for another day. The people we spoke with on the phone. Oh, also, um, the contact tracing called Powell again this morning, which was weird because they asked the same questions that they asked yesterday. Um, and then they did not follow up with me today which is weird because they said that they were gonna follow up with me every day until the quarantine is like over, which is funny because both of us have different days because I got sick before he did. We'll see how we feel then obviously, but we are starting to feel a little bit better. So yes. Having our dinner, this is just some brown rice pasta with the Brooklyn marinara that I bought the other day. Roasted eggplant, vegan Parmesan with some of our challah that I made.